Hello and welcome to the 2017 Thanksgiving scrimmage for the Hit the Deck podcast. You know, we talk deck hockey, street hockey, ball hockey, hockey and sneakers. I am thankful for the opportunity to talk deck hockey, street hockey, ball hockey, and hockey generally in sneakers. I am, of course, Gary, your American Rhino, and accompanying me on this podcasting journey, as always, James. Yes, sir. Thanks for this opportunity, as we're thanking everybody and everything. So appreciate it, sir. Yeah, I, you know, I always... These scrimmages are always a little weird to me because we don't follow our usual format of uh, theme song and then opening spiel and then yada, yada, yada. It's a little more bare bones, a little more to the point. So I never quite know how to ease into these things. You know, I need that structure. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why they do that for t entertainment shows, be it on radio or even movies or TV or whatever the case is. But I think you're doing great. So, so far, so good. All right. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I have James's vote of confidence. Uh, all right. So, well, thank you. Thank you, James. <laughs> yeah. I am thankful for your support and your, uh, you know, you are always very good to me in terms of being supportive and giving me credit. So I appreciate that even when I want to kill you for it. Right. Well, it's always deserved and exactly you're way too humble. So that's why I have to kind of overdo it a little bit because you'll never let anybody know how much you do for this podcast and, and all that you do for even with the especially for the play by play when we do that stuff. So between being goalie in the LIQ and, and taking care of all that equipment and buying equipment for us and, and the goals and whatever and putting up this podcast with all of your own equipment and editing it and everything like that. So much appreciated. I think the fans and, and followers of the podcast appreciate it as well. I, I wasn't I, I wasn't fishing for that. James. No, you weren't. I just, no, absolutely I, not. Really... <laughs> but I uh, just hopefully I'm on behalf of everybody. Uh, just thank you. All right. Well, thank you for doing all the work to prepare the on decks for every podcast. Keep us on track. Promote it. Uh, get the guests. Make sure we sound somewhat <laughs> professional and stay on track and all that stuff which you never take credit for so thank you for that all right, all right. No, okay now we're even okay, okay good <laughs> so that being said we also of course want to thank you dear listener and you know we're not this isn't going to be a complete just uh oh we love you thank you for uh, thank you for this and thank you for that because that would get really boring really fast there's going to be a lot of that but we will try to entertain you as well as we always do but thank you for standing by us for another year and uh, supporting Hit the Deck and making Hit the Deck what it is. I know I, I do this, I try to do this as often as I can on the actual podcast, but since this is the season for Thanksgiving, the giving of thanks, I do want to sincerely thank you for listening to this podcast, because as cliche as it sounds, that's the reason why we're able to do it. And if you didn't listen, then we wouldn't be able to have the podcast. So we, uh, we are forever in your debt. Amen to that. There's no doubt about it, because as Gary has said in the past, too, we're not just looking to talk to one another through Skype or whatever the case is. We want to entertain people and and expand the great world of deck hockey. And if you didn't listen to episode 77, please do, because we had a perfect example of what we're talking about and what this podcast is supposed to be with a great guest in Jeremy Laws of the Columbus Deck Hockey Association. And yes, exactly. We, we, we appreciate so much the support and the listeners, thank you so much, and the support on the Facebook pages and Twitter feeds as well. So, really, thank you all. I'm going to jump in here and say, uh, just with with all that thanks out of the way, I, I want to jump in here and say, um, I was just thinking of this, and this is just off the top of my head. You know, uh, football is a Thanksgiving tradition for a lot of people, and in my wife's family, particularly, we uh, we haven't done it in recent years. We haven't had the opportunity, but it used to be that we go Thanksgiving, you know, before the antipast or or after or whatever. No, after, I think. Between that and dinner. I don't know. Anyway, we'd go out and we would play football, you know, just in the street because football is, is very closely associated with Thanksgiving. And I say, why can't hockey be associated with Thanksgiving? Like, you know, you're, it's, it's, it's just as much a team sport as football. You have something like deck hockey. Yeah, true. You need sticks. But if you're a hockey fan, if you're somebody who plays deck hockey, then you probably have a stick anyway. Why don't you, you know, just go out and play. Just go out and play some deck hockey. Get some crates or, or whatever. And, and you don't need a goalie with full gear, like uh, what have you. You just, just get a bunch of people and, and have, have yourself a game. 
And I think that can be just as much fun, a pickup game of deck hockey on Turkey Day. It's just as effective for working off all those calories and, you know, whatever else you would do with a game of football. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, no interceptions. So <laughs> there's no bruised egos. I'll go so far as to say also that it's a lot safer to play deck hockey than it is to play football, too. I know if you're playing touch football or, or whatever the case is, but my experience playing touch football, I always jam a finger. And I always twist an ankle. You can ask um, Rob, LIQ member Rob, because it's his house that we usually go to, or his mom's house, his mom and pops, their house for that we usually go to for Thanksgiving. And uh, you can ask him for, there was years there where I, when I was younger, where like every year I would twist an ankle. And it just, I don't know, it was like a tradition. Uh, so yeah, it, that that is that is inherently dangerous. I agree with you. And if I may, just to, uh, speaking of twisting an ankle, just to jump up on my little uh, soapbox here, I'm, the NFL is dead in my eyes, so I'm glad that you brought this up, and uh, they don't deserve the right to celebrate and, and be the Thanksgiving official sport anymore, at least with the nonsense that's been going on the last couple of seasons. So uh, the NHL has also done a great job in the last few years as well, uh, not on the day itself because they're a great league and they respect the holiday Thanksgiving itself. So the teams aren't playing on Thanksgiving, but on Black Friday, there's a full slate of games for everybody to enjoy, including what they call the Discover NHL Thanksgiving Showdown game. And this year it's between the Penguins and the Bruins on one o'clock Eastern time on uh, Black Friday. So yeah, definitely hockey. I think it's a lot safer and, and I hope I don't jinx myself here, but the times I've played a lot more deck hockey than I've ever played football, tackle football or touch football. And I've yet to twist an ankle or jam a finger playing deck. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. I mean, just speaking of jamming fingers, like uh, not that I'm saying I actually just the opposite. I, not that I have a lot of experience with that playing football, but with hockey, you know, I play goal and just the, uh, it's happened a couple of times recently and as recently as this past weekend where I'll have, you know, my blocker, which is my stick hand, but there's like a glove, you know, that the, the blocker, if you're not familiar with the actual mechanics of goalie gear. So the way the blocker works is it's, as you can see, if you watch a game, it's like a curved kind of rectangular piece that sits above your hand, but the actual piece that your hand slots into the, like the glove part is just a thin glove and there's some protection there they, they try and put some protection there but it's still you know if you manage to get your hand in the wrong spot you can get hurt but and and a couple of times I've had people and uh, this is what I'm leading up to the, even this past weekend I've had somebody hit me in the hand with a stick inadvertently but it didn't you know it didn't hurt me it was fine like yeah, it stung for a few seconds, but like I, I didn't jam a finger. I didn't, you know, didn't do any real damage. So that's uh, I I guess my long drawn out way of agreeing with you, James, is is, is just to say, yes, I agree that deck hockey is on the whole safer than football. We're, we're just trying to encourage it and let you know we, we, we walk the walk and talk the talk. So we wouldn't advise you to do something that we wouldn't have done or have done ourselves. That's all. Yeah. What else <laughs> but, can we uh, tell these fine people, James? Yeah, if, if you wouldn't mind, and, and if you want to skip this by all means, but um, speaking of our Facebook page and the LIQ and, and all that stuff, I thought it was really hysterical, especially lately, friend of the podcast and, and LIQ all-star, Brett has really shown his skill of uh, his comedy skill anyway on the Facebook page lately. And all of a sudden, because, you know, Rob usually is the one that sets up the games and let us everybody know if there's going to be a game on Saturday or Sunday of a given week for the LIQ, and then everybody's allowed to respond and whatever. But mm. usually Rob goes with the, he titles the, the, uh, the game or day of mm -hmm. game, something or other. So this time he just couldn't think of something. So then everybody else started chiming in, and then it turned into this crazy Thanksgiving thing. If you wouldn't mind just going through that a little bit for us, American Rhino. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I think, well, Pops chimed in and he, uh, I think he was trying to suggest that it be called the Thanksgiving Classic, but he wrote Thanksgoing Classic. So uh, I said that I was planning on Thanksgoing and Brett asked if I was going to be the thanks goalie. So I said that was a Thanksgiving. <laughs> then Dan Schwartz jumped in and, and said that he, he suspected that if they were able to stuff in a goal on me, then I might mash my stick. And I said only if I was going to get creamed. So <laughs> I, you know. 
that's the level of comedic yeah. genius that goes on in the LIQ. Yes, <laughs> comedic <laughs> genius. Let's call it that. I enjoyed it thoroughly anyway. <laughs> well, well done, Well, guys. good. So, so yeah, but uh, but getting back to the NHL stuff for Black Friday, and, and again, if you didn't listen to episode 77, please do. But in the meantime, if you listen to this Thanksgiving podcast before Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you still have a chance to go back and listen to the advice that we gave you for both days. But uh, if you're home and you're not shopping on Black Friday, which I definitely recommend, or if you're waiting to play deck hockey that day, there's a whole slate of NHL games all day, starting at 1 o'clock Eastern time, as we said and just check your local listings. But then at 4 o'clock, there are a couple of big games, Winnipeg-Anaheim, Colorado-Minnesota. The uh, Islanders are playing Philadelphia at 4 o'clock as well. Then through 5, 6, and 7 o'clock, all Eastern times, like you got Detroit coming to the Rangers, Vancouver visiting Jersey, San Jose versus Vegas at 6 o'clock, and then it goes all the way out until uh, 9 o'clock Eastern, Calgary, Dallas, LA, Arizona. And it just, it's hockey heaven. And especially if you're recovering from your turkey and you want to be a couch potato, no better way to do that. That is tryptophantastic. <laughs> well done, sir. Yeah. So yeah, and, and again, you know, for being a little bit sappy, so be it. But that's the point of Thanksgiving and we appreciate it because we're really blessed and, and we, uh, we, we're thankful for that no matter what things are going on through our lives throughout the year. And, and I, I, I thank uh, the American Rhino from the bottom of my heart, as this podcast has really done a lot to help me anyway, in terms of something to look forward to, something to do and participate in and feel like I'm doing something and helping out, if anything, at least just giving an assist to the American Rhino and hopefully to fans of deck hockey out there to listen to this podcast. So I'm, I'm really grateful for this podcast and for Gary thinking of it and inviting me to be a part of it. Also thankful for and grateful for our faith, for our families, our friends, of course, the military for letting us allowed to have all of these wonderful things as they're out there fighting for us and keeping us safe. And of course, the great James Brown song from Rocky Five, Living in America, that always goes in the back of my head too around this time of year. I do also love the Weird Al version of that, Living with a Hernia, if mm. you haven't heard that. Feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, just a couple of things that, that I'm really grateful for and, and appreciative of. All right. So thank you, James. And I, I echo the things that you said. And actually, I just wrote a column, uh, an article for my youth group's newsletter about blessings. And here's where the, you know, sappy, melancholic strings would come in in the background. but. Uh, it occurred to me that a lot of people say, you know, they're blessed or hashtag blessed is a big yeah. thing. And, you know, they, they really they don't take it, it's not it's not they don't really consider the blessings they actually have and the things that they actually have. It's just they just throw it around as almost a catchphrase. And, you know, I, I'm making a concerted effort to acknowledge that I do have a lot of blessings and there's lots of things I can and do complain about. But. At the end of the day, I have a lot more than I don't have. And, you know, this this year, every year, uh, really, I should just try and remember, you know, it, it's this time of year is a good excuse for that, but it should be all year round every, every year that I try and remember. And I encourage you to also try and remember that it's, you know, it could be a lot worse. There are people that have it a lot worse. And I don't want to get too sappy and, and too, uh, you know, up on a soapbox with this. But I really, I'm grateful. I'm just very grateful for all the things that I have in my life. My family, friends like James, this podcast also, uh, I echo what James said with that. You, the listener, you know, I just, I'm, I, I am truly hashtag blessed. And I, I mean that sincerely. And I, I'm going to really try and remember that every time I have something I need to complain about. Yeah, very well said, sir. And it's it's really living in this city. It, it's hard. You're tested every single minute of your life getting through the New York area and trying to still be grateful and being a good Catholic or just an all around good guy or good girl. So we are tested. It's a little bit harder here in the city, but uh, God bless you. And, and that's something I, I think I'll follow your lead among other leads that I'm following of yours as well. So well said, sir, and, and amen. Uh, other things too, uh, yeah, speaking of, of our listeners and, and, and the LIQ, very grateful for the NHL and for podcasting too, for the opportunity of doing this, which is great. 
Otherwise, I don't know, maybe we'd have like a can and a string or something. But because uh, Lord knows we're not going on the air anywhere from uh, from whatever left from whatever studios are left to broadcast radio and even through Sirius Satellite and stuff like that. But good stuff there. And uh, also for in terms of things that I'm grateful for are Titan brand hockey sticks as I uh, always got to throw that in every once in a while. So very, very cool that they're back. Yeah, and, and I'm thankful that Christmas is coming. <laughs> I'm Amen. also thankful that Christmas is almost here. I know some people have started celebrating it earlier than now, but if you have listened to the podcast, then you know that I am not a proponent of that. I wait till Thanksgiving, till Santa arrives at Herald Square at the end of the Thanksgiving Day Parade every year, and then I start squealing like a little child that Christmas is here, Christmas is here. My wife looks at me like I have the incorrect number of heads, and, um, you know, it's our little Christmas tradition, and uh, I just, I, I can't wait. You know, every every year, I, I can't wait. I wait for this. This is my favorite time of year, and um, so I'm just thankful that, <laughs> to to quote to quote a famous Rangers broadcaster, the waiting is over! <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's kind of symbolic, too, that you, you got to get through the year and, and enjoy the end of it. And it's really wonderful and magical. And I hope everybody feels that way. And as Gary also recommended, too, for things that you could do for alternatives of shopping on Black Friday or even through the weekend of Thanksgiving is, yeah, definitely play deck hockey. You know, that's an excellent way to burn calories. And, and it's a lot safer, as we said, than any alternative sport uh, being played in this time of year in this area. I mean, of, you uh, know, like golf or, or uh, well, I don't know, um, croquet. I don't know, do they play croquet? Uh, it's probably not that dangerous unless you play with somebody with a, a temper problem. Then those mallets might be a problem. But uh, uh, well, oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, team sport, maybe. How about that? Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, you can play soccer, but it's, it's I don't know. I, I It's kind of cold for that. But uh, anyway, do that. And, and also, as, as Gary was saying, too, there's no excuse. It's Christmas time. Once Santa Claus shows up, on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. So decorate your houses for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I, I know I will. That's how I will be spending probably much of my weekend this coming weekend. So I enjoy that. I look forward to that. And that's all. So I guess, you know, just I'm I, I don't have much left, James. Do you? No. Well, that's the point of the of the uh, scrimmage is kind of like a brief little thing just to give everybody a little added uh, nugget there because with it being Thanksgiving, Gary always usually uploads our podcast on Fridays, so we might get lost in the mix a little bit. But this is just a little bonus, and you know, thank you everybody for listening. We really, really, truly appreciate it. Thank you for our guests for coming on and giving us something to talk about and expanding the podcast and, and expanding the world of uh, deck hockey. And happy Thanksgiving, everybody, sincerely. Yes, I second that. Happy Thanksgiving, and we'll catch you next week with another brand new edition of Hit the deck. Until then, thanks, everybody.